Number one, did you know that if you look inside the spooky carnival mount, you can actually see the person inside driving the vehicle? Number two, so assuming that everyone knows this already, but did you know that Selena Gomez was a part of an event during Crab Alley and completing both of her quests would result in earning her portrait and her statue? But you guys probably sold the stuff already. Hey gang, check it out. The Wizard 101 team created a new storyline in their game that centers all around the launch of my brain. Number three, speaking of celebrity. Did you know that Nick Jonas can be found at Grizzleheim? He was one of the producers for the soundtrack of Winter Tusk. Hey gang, thanks for checking out my music, and I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Number 4. So did you know that the Ice Professor Lydia Grey Rose was supposed to be a headmistress, and Merle Ambrose was supposed to be an Ice Professor? The Ice Professor can be seen wearing red robes. And in this video at 55 seconds, Merle Ambrose can be appear wearing robes with snowflake symbols. Number 5. King Parsley somewhat can simultaneously be broccoli and parsley at the same time. Did you know that in German version of Wizard 101, King Parsley is called Brock and Rolly, making it sound like broccoli. While at the game you're playing now, King Parsley is just King Parsley. Number 6. Speaking of King Parsley, do you know why King Parsley has a name for itself? Well, it's because it's a reference to the singer Elvis Presley. Back in the days, Elvis Presley was known as the king of rock and roll. Parsley sounds similar to Presley, making it King Parsley. Number 7. Back in the days, there was a mount called Bone Dragon, which resembled the skeletal dragon. This mount was originally released in 2013, and this mount can be obtained by opening the Dragon Hordes pack, but it got replaced quickly by this Bone Dragon mount, making it one of the rarest mounts in Wizard 101. Number 8. Speaking of discontinued item, there is a wand called Valor. Basically, this wand is so rare that only some people have it. People seem to mention that KI was giving me out this cold wand in June 2020, but I can't confirm if they received the wand or not, as someone mentioned that these cold ones were giving out as mistake. Number 9. So the most expensive mount ever in Wizard 101 has to be the Night Dragon mount. What makes this mount unique is the speed boost of 55% and costs over $500 for the mount. This mount is no longer obtainable as well, but I don't think majority of the player base will be interested in this mount anyway. Number 10. So the highest speed you can get in Wizard 101 is 63%. Basically you just need the Night Dragon mount or all of the other 55% mount. And then basically what you need to do is combine it with the boot of Comet which make it 63%. But honestly, I would rather use Chi Engine. Number 11. So, I'll be sharing this Reddit user's 3 post as he has 3 interesting facts about Wizard 101. So, the mirror in all of the shop in Wizard 101 is not actually a mirror, but instead, it's actually a window of the duplicated room because making your character appear in the mirror would be annoying to code for ki Number 12. So the Golem Tower area actually has a secret sigil. You are allowed to use the sigil, but the Reddit user has not mentioned what would happen if you use it individually. Number 13. There's actually a secret place in Ravenwood that looks similar to the common. The way how you can get here is by using a Wizard 101 trainer that will allow you to get to a certain location, pretty much like a teleporter hack. Number 14. Back in the early age, the spell Wild Ball was supposed to be 10 accuracy and will always guarantee to hit 1000 damage. Now today, Wild Ball is all about RNG with 70% accuracy. Number 15. Back in the early age of Wizard 101, Mushu was the final place for Wizard 101 before the release of Dragon Spire. After 4 months of the release of Wizard 101, Dragon Spire was finally released. Number 16. So did you know that Infallible was once useless, giving only 10% accuracy? But in 2011, Pierce was added to Infallible, making it worth using. Well, usually in PvP. Number 17. Did you know that healing currents once had a similar effect as Insane Bolt? Using it in the early age would give a chance of healing the target 1,100 health or it would cause 10,000 damage to yourself. But in 2012, the healing was changed to only RNG, similar to Wild Bolt. Number 18. Did you also know that all of the global spell boosting including Doom and Gloom were once 4 pips? So in 2009, the spell was changed making it only 2 pips. The only difference is that Sanctuary is the only global spell that costs 3 pips, while the others are at 2 pips. Balefrost, aka Ice Global, is the only global spell that has 35% damage boosting, while the others are at 25%. Number 19. So this one's a sad one, but the Storm Rider Hair Mount is a seasonal mount that was released to honor Lady Storm Rider's passing. 
She was a great person among the Wizard 101 community and along with the other people at the Central Forums. So the mount can only be obtained during Easter Egg. It's robbed by various bosses throughout Wizard 101. Number 20. Did you know that in the early days, you could actually use Cloak on the Ghoul spell? Though using it does not do anything other than giving the Ghoul spell a Sun spell look. A lot of people mentioned this, so I figured I'd put it in the video as well. I couldn't find any image of the card, unfortunately. Number 21. Did you know that using Cloak spell on any of the damage self spell, then use it in the battle will result in zero damage? This also applies to other spells too, for example Dark Pact. Despite showing zero damage, you can see right here that my health has reduced but the damage is hidden. Number 22 So did you know that there was a secret dance that only some of the people know, where if you type alright 8 times, or the heart symbol 16 times, will result in a secret dance, though this no longer works. Number 23 So if you're in the home of this boss, then chances are that you're gonna see this code. So if you translate this code into a Morse code translator, then they actually spelled out this name, which is actually the boss that you're gonna defeat. I don't wanna pronounce the name because I don't know how to. Number 24 so in the early age of Wizard 101, Blood Bat was changed to Booger Bat, but later on, it was remained as Blood Bat. Number 25 Okay, speaking of Blood Bat, originally the spit of Blood Bat was supposed to be red, but considering that Wizard 101 is rated at the age of 10, the spit was changed from red to green. Number 26 So I assume everyone knows this already, but all of the Zeke's Quest titles are actually a reference to some popular bands, such as The Smith, The Beatles, the Wallflowers, Stray Cats, and much more. Number 27. This fish right here is a resemble to Pac-Man. Number 28. So one of Coco's smoke sign dialogue is actually a reference to a popular song, Witch Doctor. Number 29. So at the hunting cave, a rotting father can be found by the window. Number 30. So there are tons of spells that has old animation, which can be quite interesting to some of you guys. Here are some examples. <laughs> Number 31. This one needs confirmation, but the Humonga frog is based on an Australian aborigine where the frog named Tidalik starts off by swallowing water all over the world and causes a massive drought. After many animals had died, the remaining animals got together with a plan to make the frog laugh. Succeeding their plan for making the frog laugh, water flooded from the frog's mouth and the land was finally in peace again. Number 32 Back in 2013, there was a glitch that allowed you to pick up infinite tomato baskets and sell it for roughly 100 gold. People who took part of this exploit were banned for 2 weeks. Number 33 Did you know that Ziki was once a crown shop NPC? And it was changed around 2009 where Prospector Ziki no longer sells crown item. Instead, the crown shop was moved to the top left. Number 34 in February 2009, the Storm Beetle was released after 1 million accounts had been created. The Storm Beetle ran out of stock pretty quickly and it was only obtained by those who had bought it from Ziki or from other various events. The Storm Beetle is one of those unobtainable pets. The only similar variation are the Fire Beetle and the Rain Beetle, which can be obtained through the kiosk or hyperbreeding. Number 35 The singular Ice Shield is the only shield that's called Snow Shield, while the other shield holds their school's name. Number 36. Life is the only school that doesn't have dealer on the talent that gives the most life damage. Instead of dealer, it's bringer. Number 37. Life is the only school that doesn't have a Maycast damage aura. There are Maycast Furnace, Galvanic Field, Reliquary, Sleet Storm, Virulence, and Punishment. Maycast Devotion in Wizard 101 does not exist and probably never will. Instead, there is a Maycast Cycle of Life, making it pretty much suitable for life. Number 38. At the upper halls of Darkmoor, there are various books that you can read for yourself. Number 39. Did you know that back in the days you could actually go above 2 million damage? Number 40. King Zao realized that many kids and families don't have access to some latest computer. So to fix this, they designed Wizard 101 to be applicable to any computer, making it playable on almost all of the computer. Number 41. 
Did you know that the boat at Krakatopia, the balloon carts at Marleybone, the dragon ride at Dragon Spire were originally developed to make the player experience riding those rides and making the player experience walking around it. It's actually pretty interesting because those rides don't actually move. KI had trouble coding rides to move so instead of making those rides move, they made the world move to give an appeal that those rides are moving. Number 42 Mainly, majority of the characters at Wizard 1 1 are voiced by professional actors, but sometimes the KI employees will take part of it, sometimes even take part in voicing the major characters as well. Number 43 Did you know that pets were once an option at the bazaar? If you look at this image, you can see that you can sell or buy pets at the bazaar. In May 2010, selling and buying pets at the bazaar was removed. Number 44 did you know that Elix Silver Fist has a heart at the back of his head? Number 45 Back in the days when Marleybone was released, before getting onto the balloon car to get to your desired location, you need to actually talk to the lady at the ticket booth in order to receive your ticket. Number 46 When Dragon Spire was released, the quest Wizard Tours, where you actually had to go around Wizard 101 to collect the obsidian chest, there were over 4 obsidian chests that you needed to open. The obsidian chests were located at Lord's Nightshade's tower, Prince Gobblestone's tower, the Nirini's chamber, the trophy room at the Grand Arena, the North Clock Tower, Sheikh's Clock Tower, the Forest Spirit Shrine, Kodo's Dojo, and the most annoying of all was the Labyrinth. In total, there were 9 chests that you needed to collect making it one of the most annoying quests. And it was annoying because there was no team up feature, meaning that you will have to do it all by yourself if you have no friends or anyone questing with you. Now today, there are only 4 obsidian chests that you needed to open, located at Wizard City, Krakatopia, Marleybone, and Mushu. Number 47 so at the release of Wizard 101, Bazaar was not even a thing before the release of Dragon Spire. In July 2009, the Bazaar was finally released. Number 48 So if you're a veteran in the early age before April 2009, then you must have a hard time questing. Before April 2009, there was no questing arrow, meaning that you have to complete everything by yourself without any questing arrow. And this made questing so much harder. But then in April 2009, the questing arrow was finally released. Number 49 Before the release of Zafaria, a member of the KI team, Russell Hughes, actually traveled to Kenya along with the CTC International to record some of the sounds from the animals and use it as an in-game sound. Number 50 Speaking of Zafaria, I assure that most of you guys know that Zafaria actually resembles Safari, and Safari means to observe from the animal's natural habitat, especially in East Africa. Kenya is located east of Africa, which is where Russell Hughes went to. Russ, we need sounds! Now! Number 51 Did you know that Professor Grey Rose is originally from a candy land also known as Caramel? She learned ice magic to help other children to get away from her two evil sister. Professor Grey Rose originally hails from the picturesque fairy tale town of Caramel, located amongst the candied islands. Number 52 Cyrus Drake might have been one of the first NPC to actually mention about Imperia. So if you're a myth wizard learning the level 68 spell, you can hear Cyrus Drake mentioning about Imperia. The skies of Imperia? Mm -hmm. You haven't been there yet. Pity. Oh, I can't be bothered. Just do it at Gollum Court. Number 53 the name Marleybone actually comes from a real city at London and it's actually a resemblance to London that took place around the 19th century. Number 54 The dorm room used to look different than it is today. Here's a quick look into the old dorm room. It looks better than the one we have today in my opinion. Number 55 So in Wisteria, you can actually find schools that resemblance the schools at Ravenwood. Ember equals fire, frost equals ice, tempest equals storm, spirit equals death, Chaos equals myth, earth equals life, and equilibrium equals balance. Number 56 Back in the days before gardening was introduced, you were able to sell mega snacks. Nowadays, mega snacks are just no auctions. Number 57 Did you know that you can remove the 10 minute queue by the use of foul gaze? I'm pretty sure it applies to other dungeons as well, not just foul gaze. Number 58 did you know that Marleybone used to have school insignia gears? So if you want to look into it, I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check it out. Number 59 
In October 2009, mounts were finally released, and the first mounts that were introduced were the brooms, horses, cats, and dragons. Number 60. The pet jewel of Dark Pact is called No Pain No Gain, which is a reference to the famous motivational line, No Pain No Gain. Number 61. When King Zhao decided to bring Wizard 101 to China, there were various things that had to change. Any mobs or just in general involving bones or skeleton was prohibited, meaning that the China version of Wizard 101 does not have any bone related, because it would be considered disrespectful to the dead in China. The skeleton pirate was changed to a doll as you can see here. The skeleton pet was changed to a doll version. The wraith car doesn't have any bone coming out of the hood. The skeletal dragon was designed to brown. The skeletal dragon was designed as a wyvern mount. Number 62. So in Bedlock's tent, there's actually a golden idol that looks very similar to the golden idol in the famous movie Indiana Jones. The reason why it's here is because Bedlock took it from Indiana Jones, which you can find it right here. Also, Bedlock resembled this Bedlock from Indiana Jones. You can clearly see that they look the same and also have the same name. Too bad the Jovitos don't know you the way I do, Bedlock. Yes! Number 63. So the Shin of the Elucidate is a discontinued treasure card, and the only way to obtain the treasure card is by completing the quest Follow the Leader. So in April 2016, the treasure card was replaced with Unstoppable. So if you still have the treasure card Elucidate, then it could be worth thousands or hundreds of Empower. Number 64 By far all of the treasure cards, Yukai and along with the other illegal treasure cards, are the rarest TC in the game. The only way to obtain these cards is by the using of exploits, which I have no knowledge to. These treasure cards were never meant to be in the game, making them much more rare. Number 65 At level 50, there's a quest from Diego named Arrow to the Knee. This is a reference to a popular game of Skyrim. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Yo, I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow in the knee. Number 66 in Wizard 101, Eagle actually means Aquila in Latin, which is why every boss you face in Aquila is in the form of an eagle. Number 67. At level 78, every school can get a pet quest from the professor that can resemble a Stephen King novel, novella, or short story. Balance being it, death being bag of bones, fire being fire starter, ice being misery, life being the green mile, myth being eyes of dragons, and storm being heart of Atlantis. Number 68. Did you know that Earthquake was able to remove stun block? This made PvP community complaining about Earthquake removing stun block. In October 2010, Earthquake no longer removed stun blocks. Number 69. Outside of the Lord Nightshade's tower, you can actually find a grave that reads Kilroy is here. This is a reference to Kilroy was here. Number 70. When the Ordor spell was introduced to the game, it had a creepy face on the moon. Then a few years later, the creepy face was removed, which upsets the Wizard 101 community. A few years later, there was a Twitter poll that let players vote if the developer should bring back the creepy moon. Succeeding the poll of wanting the creepy moon back, a few months later, the creepy moon was brought back into the game. Number 71 the name Malori comes from a scientific Latin name for Little Raven, which can also mean Corvus Malori. This name was given to her considering that Malori is the daughter of Grandmother Raven. Number 72 Back in the days, Polymorph Treasure Card were actually usable. A low level can use it to have a big advantage over the other players. In May 2012, all the Polymorph Treasure Card were made into no PvP. Number 73 Back in the days when you were stunned by someone in PvP, you will only gain one stun shield. This may stun you more frequently and pretty much your team is gonna lose if your team gets stunned. This was changed later on in May 2011 where you would get 4 stun block if there are 4 enemies, 3 stun blocks if there are 3 enemies and so on. Number 74 Did you know that crown items were once being able to sell at the bazaar? But in October 2009, crown items were no longer auctionable. Number 75 Before the update of December 2009, other bosses had different appearance such as Lady Black Hope, Radabone, and much more. If you'd like to check all of the lists, I'll leave it in the description below. Number 76 So the elemental dispel was more than just 2 pips. In October 2008, Dissipate, Quench, and Melt were reduced to 2 pips. Unfortunately, it never mentioned what their original pips were. But what we know for sure is that it was more than just 2 pips. Number 77 
At the release of Wizard 101, did you know that all of the pets you get from drops will be named Baby Abby? But then in October 2008, it was finally changed and the pet name will be randomly generated. Number 78 On March 26, 2010, the Storm Beetle was given the Storm Beetle item card. Despite that the Storm Beetle was being released in February 2009, the pet was purely cosmetic before March 2010. Number 79 before July 2009, where Ziggy actually had a crown shop, you could actually buy Ziggy's crown item with gold instead of crowns, but then this was removed in July 2009. Number 80 When Wizard 101 was released, you could actually have unlimited friends. The amount of friends you could have doesn't cap at 100. In October 2008, it was changed to a cap of 100. Behold, the power of pets in Wizard 101. Number 81 at the release of Wizard 101, all pets in Wizard 101 were just cosmetic, meaning that pets have no value whatsoever and were only carried around without any benefit. In May 2010, KI released an update that would change pets forever, making them much more useful than before. The maximum level your pet can get was only at Epic, meaning that Mega doesn't exist at that time. Two years after the release of Advanced Pet, you can then train your pet to Mega. This was released in August 2012. Number 82 the boss fighting 9 lives that actually needed to be defeated 9 times in Marlebone is actually a reference to the line that cats have 9 lives. And it also applies to this 9 health boss that you face in Mirage. Number 83 Spells that attack all enemy were required to select an enemy, so if the enemy is defeated before your turn, then your spell will not be triggered. In May 2010, this was changed where you can just click on the attack all spell without needing to select an enemy. Number 84 did you know that the Seraph card for life was once an AoE? But then this was only in the test realm. Lydia Grey Rose mentioned that it was a bug and was not intentionally to be in the game. Number 85 During Imperia, when you enter the location of Cipedius, you can actually find the hats of Butchbeard and Gandry. And these characters are actually from Pirate 101. Number 86 this character Greta may be underrated, but her name is actually a reference to Gretel from the fairy book of Hansel and Gretel. Her brother is named Hans, which resembles Hansel. Number 87 This boss right here from Mirage actually resembles Mr. Clean. His cheats and dialogue are all involved with cleaning, and you can actually see that he's cleaning his lamp. Number 88 did you know that the official Wizard 101 page where if you go to the MIP school section, you can actually see the Humonga Frog is 7 pips. But I have no knowledge if this card actually exists or not. Number 89 Did you know that Regina Flame Talon was originally portrayed as light skin and red hair? And also Mindy Pixie Crown was originally designed as light skin, but later on she was changed to dark skin so she can fit into the role of being this guard's niece. Number 90 did you know back in the days in order to participate in tournaments, it was only through the use of crowns? Number 91 If you accidentally trash an item, you can actually message KI and they will assist you with any item that you trashed. Number 92 Back in the days when Dragon Spire was released, you actually had to activate more than one crystal in order for the door to open. Number 93 did you know that the KI team reached out to various artists requesting an artwork of Wizard City? Here are all of the arts that was drawn by some artists. This image right here can be found by the credit scene. Number 94 Did you know that Del Eldridge is actually the voice of the narrator and the voice of Grandmother Raven? What an ending to such a bitter chapter. Thank you all for never giving up on this world. Number 95 in October 2009, the Burst Breeze Tower was finally released. This dungeon right here is actually the first dungeon that players experience cheats. Number 96 After Dragon Spire was released, they updated Malister and other various bosses in the test room. This was to make them more difficult than before. The J Uni was one of it and would summon other Uni to aid the battle. Number 97 After defeating the secret boss Yukai, you will award the secret badge known as Sword Saint. Number 98 there are some artwork from the spell that have minority change and also have major change. Check out these examples. Number 99 So in one of the Dragon Spire's house, you can actually hear a creepy voice saying, find something that can't be found. Take a listen. Number 
Number 100. In Mushu, when you enter the Sparrow World where you face the Death Uni or the Tomugawa bosses, there are actually appears to be creepy face looking at you. It appears for a few seconds, then vanishes for a few seconds, pretty much like a loop. But I have no knowledge after this whatsoever. Number 101. During the release of Dragon Spire, Malister originally had 100k health, and Sylvia Drake would spawn and help your team. Despite Sylvia's help, Malister was pretty difficult to defeat. Today, Malister is not the Malister that some people knew since it was released. Anyway, that is it. There's actually more than 101 facts about Wizard 101. All of the source are in the description below. Anyway, I just want to thank everyone who helped me with this video. This video was only made possible with the help of the Wizard 101 community. Bye.